Hello guys, welcome and welcome to Mitty Nursing Academy, one of the leading academy in training nurses in the nursing competitive exam as well as IELTS and OET training. Today in this video we are going to discuss about central government announcement for nursing officer vacancy. Yes guys, Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited which is located under Tarapur Maharashtra site, they have announced 26 nursing officers vacancies. So in this video we are going to see about the eligibility criteria, what whether experience is required or not. So what are all the other benefits once you got selected, how the examination is going to be, whether in written examination or in computer based examination, whether they will call for the skill test or uh, document verification. So how the total examination process is going to be, all those details we are going to discuss in detail. Please watch the video till the end, it will be so much useful for you guys, okay. So if you like this video, please share with your friends so that everyone will get updated about these vacancies, okay. Let's begin the session. First, when the advertisement was, uh, came, the advertisement came on 8th February 2023 and the application form is also open from 8th February 2023 from 10 o'clock till 28th February 2023 4 p.m. So now you are having time. The date is 8th February to 28th February 2023. This is the time for filling the application form in online mode only you are going to fill the application form. Okay. So as early as possible make sure you are eligible and start to fill the application form okay so details of the post first we are going to discuss about the details of the post the name of the post is nurse may let's see the details of the post that is nurse here they are calling male as well as the female candidates okay the total post what they are announced is 26 posts they have announced in this sc5 st2 obc6 economically weaker section 2 you are 10 total 25 and apart from that backlog vacancy the backlog vacancy means the vacancy which is allotted only for physically disabled peoples okay for them one so total is 26 posts they have announced the second thing is there are many details they have given here because they have announced many posts but still we have to focus only on the nursing post the next thing is age limit and pay okay so here for nurse the age limit is 18 to 30 years minimum 18 years maximum 13 30 years 30 30 years they have announced here and the salary package is same central government package because it is coming under central government okay so the initial pay is going to be 44900 it is the basic apart from that you will be getting the extra allowances also okay And third one is age relaxation. So what are all the uh, age relaxation they have given for reserved and unreserved categories? Obviously for unreserved categories the age relaxation will not be there. The 30 years will be the maximum age limit. And for other categories they have given the age relaxation same like central government. Okay. So what are all those age relaxation? Let's discuss in detail. For SC and ST candidates 5 years of age age relaxation they are providing for obc candidates if you are non creamy lawyer non creamy lawyer please underline that word okay they are giving three years of uh, age relaxation and person with disability 10 years of relaxation person with disability and the person is coming under scst means 15 years of age relaxation person with disability and they are coming under obc means that is non creamy lawyer obc means 13 years of age relaxation they are providing is all about the age relaxation other important point is essential qualification and experience this we are going to discuss now so what is the essential qualification for applying this post after completing 12th standard diploma in nursing and midwifery for three years they have to complete or bsc nursing they have to complete that is four years course either diploma in nursing or bsc nursing they have to complete these two points you have to keep in mind other points are not essential for us okay so this is all about the essential qualification and experience And other important point is 
these are all for other examinations about the examination selection procedure okay the ninth point is selection procedure see how the selection is going to be for nurse as well as for other uh, vacancies like lab technician x-ray whatever it is written examination and skill test will be there see written examination either in omr based sheets or computer based test till now they had not yet decided how, how to conduct the examination whether written examination has to be given in omr sheet or cbt so once they have come to the conclusion they will be announcing in their website okay so whatever it is we have to go for the examination so written examination plus skill test and document verification will be there for your selections okay other important point is how they are going to conduct the written examination see the written examination will be in two stages how many stages two stages stage one and stage two and stage one is called as preliminary test and stage two is called as advanced test in stage one that is in preliminary test the hours they have given is one hour duration they are giving in stage two advanced test the hours they are given is two hours so stage one one hour stage two two hours the examination is going to be there in stage one they are focusing on three subjects that is mathematics science and general awareness for mathematics 20 for science 20 and for general awareness 10 questions they are going to provide for you and obviously negative marks is there so total mark is 50 how much mark they are providing the stage one test 50 okay in this 50 the passing mark will be based upon your reservation and unreservation categories before that let's discuss about the negative marks for each question they are providing three marks for each right answer they are providing three marks and each wrong answer they are minusing one mark okay so negative marks are there okay so how much mark you supposed to take in stage one for general category 40 percentage of mark you supposed to take for sc st obc disabled people 30 marks you supposed to take okay and the second one is advanced test that is stage two stage two test the first preliminary test we already saw and now stage two that is the advanced test here they have given two hours for the examination those who are screened in stage one if they are passed in stage one only those people can go to the advanced test that is stage two test and the test will be conducted for how many hours two hours the test is going to be conducted and here also 50 questions will going to be there how many questions 50 multiple choice question is going to be there objective types questions here also three marks for each correct answer and one mark will be detected for each wrong answers okay and here also the minimum passing mark for the general category is 30 percentage of mark the general category person has to take and 20 percentage of mark for SCST, OBC and physically challenged okay if there is a tie if there is a tie if the uh, same mark is scored by two person okay so what are all the things uh, how they are going to scrutinize the candidates that we are going to see here okay before that the merit list of the candidates will be prepared after the stage two based upon the scores obtained in the stage two only so they are focusing the merit list based upon the stage two this is very important okay so if there is a tie the candidates with the lower negative mark in stage two will be placed higher on the merit list okay the if it is not resolved okay resolve not resolved by the point a then they will be going to the point b in point b what they are saying candidates with higher mark in stage one will be placed higher on the merit list and in point b also the tie is not resolved means candidate with low negative marks in stage one to be placed higher in the merit list and point c also not resolved means candidate with i positive marks in the mathematics in stage one is placing higher if this is also not resolved means candidate with i positive marks in science in stage one will place i here see in case of time they will be checking all those things okay no need to worry about these things they will be taking care of all these things okay fine 
your role is to prepare very well for the exams they have given the syllabus that is science mathematics awareness in stage one and advanced test that is stage two you have the nursing subjects is going to be there so you have to prepare for the content and appear for the exam and write the examination that's all okay and here they have told very clearly that is the stage one exam it will be conducted in uh, in the morning session and stage two it will be conducted in the afternoon or evening session obviously the skill test is going to be there okay so uh, it is based upon the merit list whoever passed the stage two whoever crashed the stage two those people will be called for what skill test okay so how they will call for the skill test you know one is to five ratio they are going to call for one post they will be calling their five candidates this is what mentioned here okay the other important points are waiting list is there whether they will call for the waiting list yes they will be calling for the waiting list okay within one year after one year once the waiting period is going beyond one year means they will not call the waiting list candidates within one year if the joined candidates those who have got already selected and they are not joining their hospital or if the person dies during the period that time only they will be called the waiting list candidates okay other important points let's see okay fine so how to apply for the exam see application will be in you have to apply through online mode only okay and before applying make sure you are eligible for the examination keep all the documents ready your signature photograph everything has to be kept ready and the third point is you should have a valid email id and valid phone number because they will be sending the user id password activation code in the email id as well as in the phone number so make sure you are giving the correct phone number and email id and the location for the job location is tarapur maharashtra site and also they will be post you in anywhere all around india as well as in abroad depending upon the requirement of the corporation okay and they have clearly mentioned that the candidates appearing in the final year and final semester are not eligible for this post those who completed the final examination and got the degree certificate got the registered nurse registered midwife certificate those candidates are allowed for the examination and while you are filling the form if your percentage is coming around 59.9 then you have to mention only 59.9 you should not mention 60 percentage like that so round off is not accepting so whatever is the exact percentage you are getting you have to show that even in experience also if you are having two years and 11 months of experience you have to mention two years and 11 months of experience only you should not round two three years of experience so rounding is not at all allowed here okay other important is five so if you belong to sc st obc candidate you should have a valid caste certificate okay especially in case of obc if you should mention whether you are coming under the creamy lawyer or not creamy lawyer if you are coming under non creamy lawyer then only you are eligible for obc criteria obc reserved criteria if you are coming in creamy lawyer it means that your salary package is more than 1 lakh per year so you will not coming under what obc reserved category understand so make sure that in your certificate you have to mention non creamy lawyer and in case of economically weaker section okay economically weaker section categories you have to make sure that your salary the income certificate that is less than 75000 per year as well as the asset certificate you have to get from the nearby municipal office and you have to submit during the document verification Uh, the important points are yes 
those who are working in the central and state government they have to produce the noc certificate even they have to bring the noc certificate during the written examination document verification and skill test even for written examination they are asking the noc certificate so make sure that you are getting the noc certificate as early as possible in the final selection will be the first written examination will be there second skill test will be there third document verification will be there and fourth medical fitness will be there once you are fit for the service then only you are your post is guaranteed and for SCST candidates for SCST candidates they are giving the uh, reimbursement of the traveling allowance okay they are reimbursing their traveling allowance but you are already doing the service in central and state government means they will not give the travel allowance if you are not having any job and you are coming for the exam means they are giving the travel allowance so you supposed to bring the tickets whatever you are having other important points are what are all the documents you supposed to bring okay for the document verification but certificate mock sheets and certificate of all educational professional and technical qualification mock sheet of each year and each semester see everything we have mentioned very clearly experience certificate if you are having you have to bring the experience certificate in that experience certificate it has to be mentioned like period of service nature of service full time or part time designation details of the job and responsibilities very clearly okay and the next one is caste certificate you supposed to bring and obc certificate should be a valid obc certificate see always i used to say that the valid obc certificate means a one financial year that is from april 2022 to march 2023 okay that is one financial year so make sure that your certificate is valid within that period and valid income and asset certificate for the economically weaker section candidates okay if they are working means noc certificate has to be bought along with them and if you are having any other additional qualification certificate you can bring those things also other important points how to apply so already i mentioned that the time and date is in between 8th february 2023 to 28th february 2023 4 pm you supposed to apply for this post okay and before applying make sure that you are having a scanned copy of your photo and the signature and the photo should be 50 kb and minimum of 125 to 165 pixels and your signature should be 20 kb and minimum of 125 to 80 pixels in dimension okay and in a light color background you supposed to take the picture and if you are wearing the uh, glasses goggles okay make sure your eye is clearly visible that point is clearly mentioned here so how they are you have to apply the uh, through the online form see first proper email id and proper phone number you should have that is the first point okay so here what you supposed to do is the step one is open the page they are giving the link here open that page okay and user id and password you have to create okay so first new registration one option will be there you have to click on the new registration option in that you have to upload the your name your phone number and your email id and in that you email id and phone number you will be getting the activation code and second one is user id and third one is password so first you have to click the activation code and then the application form will get open and then you have to write your or type your name or the user id and password and then click login and then the page will open okay so this is how it is going to be so how what is the sequence of the pages online form pages first one is education qualification first page will be education qualification you have to fill all the education details next if you are having any work experience fill the work experience details next personal details upload photo signature and submit the application okay so 
whatever the intimation the date of examination each and everything it will be intimated in the website okay so this is all about the vacancy announcement okay guys so if you have any doubts anywhere please drop your message in the chat box for the further updating the details or any updates related to this examination you can you can visit this www.npcalcareer.co.in website in this you, they will be updating each and everything understand guys so please like this video share this video it will be so much useful for others if you are sharing the video and thank you very much for watching this video guys